in this lecture we are going to discuss about the proof of two important theorem of linear programming problem relating to convex set and two theorems are the first theorem is a hyperplane is a convex set and the second theorem is half spaces that is closed half space or open half space are both convex set we have to prove this two theorem before going to prove this two theorem here we define hyperplane and half space then we go to the proof of this we know that in two dimensional plane the equation of straight line as c1 x1 plus c2 x2 this is equal to d this is equation of straight line when we go to the three dimension then the equation of plane becomes c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus c3 x3 this is equal to d but in similar manner if we write the equation like this that is c1 x1 plus c2 x2 to c n x n okay this is equal to d this is in n dimension because there are be n variables and here if we put z in place of d this is also a variable and this is like z this is equal to summation c i x i this is nothing but the objective function objective function of objective function of n right now if we put the value of z that is the different value of z we get different equation of this type that is of the type of plane and this equation is said to be a hyperplane right this is the definition of hyperplane or it is it is said that in set notation if we write this is cx this is equal to z where c is a vector c1 c2 to cn and x is also a vector x1 x2 to xn right then we write this hyperplane as a set notation and in set notation h is a set of points this is x such that cx this is equal to z and is said to be said to be hyperplane okay now to define half spaces if we consider the set h1 this is given by the point x which satisfy cx less equal to z okay and if we consider h2 this is x such that cx greater equal to z and if we define h3 this is x such that cx less than z and this is h4 x such that cx greater than z and these are known as this is said to be closed and left half space okay and similarly this is closed and right half space and since there be only less than also there be only less than this is said to be open open left half space and this is open right half space okay that's the definition of half spaces that is the left half spaces right half spaces right and this is said to be left half space because if 
cx less equal to z and we mean less equal to means left side and right equal to means right side so this is left half space and this is right half space and since they are be less equal to so this is close and they are be only less than so this is open okay and this definition is given because when we draw a straight line in a plane then we know that the straight line divide this two plane sorry this plane into two part that is the upper portion and that is the lower portion okay and upper portion means cx less than z or less equal to z and lower portion means cx greater equal to z and in this concept we get four definition here which are half spaces closed and open okay now we are going to prove the theorem one by one to show a hyperplane is a convex set we first define the hyperplane and write it in a short set notation right h be the hyperplane now we first let two point let x1 x2 any two point of h and then from the condition of set we must write c x1 this is equal to z and c x2 also this is equal to z okay now we make a convex combination of x1 and x2 and let it be x this is given by lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 where 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1 in convex combination we must write this condition otherwise the definition is wrong okay now we have to show that this convex combination also becomes in the hyperplane so we multiply both sides by c and we get c x this is equal to c into lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 and this is given by lambda into cx2 plus 1 minus lambda into cx1 okay and we already write here cx1 and cx2 we put the value of cx1 and cx2 here we get lambda into z plus 1 minus lambda into z that is lambda plus 1 minus lambda into z that is we get z and it is clear that this x this is the convex combination of x1 x2 is satisfied this equation c x equal to j so we say that x this is equal to lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 must be belongs to h and since we take any two point of h and this is the convex combination of two point this is also belongs to h so we say that h is a convex set okay and also we say that this is not only convex set we say that h is also a closed convex set okay that is hyperplane is a closed convex set and the similar proof for half spaces we here proof only one of half space and other are the homework for you right we take the half space this is closed left half space and we first take let x1 and x2 belongs to h1 similarly as hyperplane then it must have c x1 less equal to j and c x2 less equal to j from the condition of set now we consider the convex combination this is lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 we can write it another way lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda into x2 these are same but we have to write here 0 less equal to lambda less equal to now cx this is given by lambda into cx2 plus 1 minus lambda into cx1 and we put the value of cx2 and cx1 here we get lambda into z plus 1 minus lambda into z okay that is lambda plus 1 minus lambda into z and this is given by less equal to 
z so cx less equal to z that is satisfy the given condition so we say that if x1 x2 belongs to h1 then x this is equal to lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 also belongs to h1 so we say that h1 is a h1 is a convex set okay so all the proofs of this set are similar as the first one okay and for first two set that is closed half space and closed half space these are not only the convex set these are the closed convex set okay and these two are obviously not closed convex set okay so that's the today's class and this class is very important for your exam thank you thank you for watching